Shin Megami Tensei is a franchise spawned from the book Digital Devil Story by Aya Nishitani. The book, and in turn games, follow a protagonist as they complete against the end of the world as demons, devils, and angels compete for the fate of humanity. Monster Punk is Latin American Shin Megami Tensei. Made by Juan Herrera of Gimmick Labs has managed to create a fairly unique world in Monster Punk. The world is, well, pretty fucked. Angels, fairies, techno-cope humans, and the entirety of Rainforest have decided to battle over supremacy of the dying world in extreme anime battle after the all-technically-power-slam demon kind back to the fucking Stone Age are the biker gangs. You, oh well, you're really not that important, but the unfortunate secret is that the three-way war between fairies, heaven, and big furry need an entity to tip the balance in their favor. And that wild card is you, a pact binder. You've struck a bargain with one of these entities of these factions, trading part of your humanity for the power to make a difference. This pact has changed you, morphed you, forced you down in the fursuit of your new destiny. And at its absolute core, you're gonna roll a d10 and read this result. Here's the entire chart. That's it. I've actually taught you how to play Monster Punk. Not exactly a complex game by any measure, but with most of these twists and bonuses being small increases to your grit, humanity, wealth, or any other small benefit or problem. Hell, they even have a full advantage and disadvantage system, and I'm not even gonna bother putting it on screen because you already know what I mean by that. But the truth of the matter is that Monster Punks isn't about that, it's about combat, and everything is built around getting into and finishing that fight. Combat is the main meat of the game, competing over the very limited resources of the field and very limited health pool as you use your text to deal with the enemy. Each turn, the characters can do a simple, utility, and offensive action. While there are some pretty basic actions like forcing a quick movement, taking cover, or making a basic attack, techs are where the main meat of the combat actually relies on. Techs are abilities the monster punks have, each of them with very precise application. Now, if you notice from the previous action chart, very, very few situations have you outright miss or fail to use a combat effect, making all of those tech actions and such rapid-fire exchange of trying to actually avoid the worst effects. Of course, if things do get a little dangerous close, you can always limit break, but this isn't Cloud Strife Sword Bukake, but instead raw survival. But instead raw survival right now for a part of your mental, soul, and physical health a little bit later. But where do we get these techs and cool powers? Classes. Each class is composed of a type and a role. Hybrids are fused with their pack partners, riders mount their pack partners, summoners play SMT, and solos are too busy being a one-man army, but your role is what you're actually going to be doing. Assaulting, controlling, healing, or tanking. So what if I want to be a hybrid tank? Well, you're going to be a blood knight. You're a one-man juggernaut not wearing a suit of flesh of to kick ass and take some names. But what about a solo healer? Well, you're going to be playing an alchemist, so get ready to throw some potions. But there can't possibly be anything for a summoner assault. Well, get ready to play a stand user. These are the 16 classes you have access to have a full repertoire of basic, advanced, support, trick, and limit text that can be used, not to mention the basic limit text that require the use of Orgon. As an aside, Orgon is your your special resource gain only through suffering and getting more powerful. Struggle on, dumbass, but let's see what a basic predator looks like. Predators begin with 20 HP, speed 4, trick, support, basic, advance, and limit tech, and a feature, and you also are a hybrid class, so you also get a monstrous feature which grants you additional trick, support, and basic tech. A lot of toys to begin with, but those tricks tend to be non-combat focused bonuses. Support techs allow you to do your actual job, and in the predator's case, tracking enemies and gaining advantage over them, then you have basic techs, which are your bread and butter, really. Such as Laughing Slash, where if you are targeting, it grants you the accurate tag, and you may up do up to 5 damage and fear them. Advanced and limit techs also give you the big hits, such as ripping someone apart or draining them of life. Not to mention, your monster tends to have their own assortment of techs and abilities for you to fuck around with. Now, there are 4-5 to five techs per category per class, so there are a few different options to play with, and that's just at level 1. Leveling up grants more toys to play with, but never actually a lot different changes in your HP or abilities to be frank, because you're always struggling upwards. Even with all of those abilities, it's going to be a fight for survival in a tactical battle every battle. You'll always be struggling, but that relatively dirty fighting and monster creation system does encourage you to improvise with everything you do. But this all leads me to one nasty little thing. Monster Punk is about combat. There are non-combat mechanics and such, but the game really isn't built on those. It's, it's built on the premise
premise that you will be getting into a combat situation, and if you're not currently in combat, you're gonna be in combat pretty quickly. This isn't a bad thing, but don't go into Monster Punk for this deep and evocative narrative experience. Come in blasting power metal as you beat a monster to death with your bare robot hands or something. Embrace what it is, and don't force it to be what it isn't. My name is Notepad Anon, and this was Monster Punk. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. A many thanks to the Elysian Banker Cells for continuing to fund my one-way quest to damnation. Godspeed, good luck, and red man! Red man. Moeru, moeru, moeru.